Namaste everyone and welcome to the interactive session on the dance forums between Guru and Shishya. Arts from India is an organization based in New York whose mission is to promote all classical arts of India. Ajay Vir Chapatkat, who is the founder of the organization, has been promoting and supporting the artists through the pandemic by arranging many concerts. Arts from India is very proud to bring you another classical dance festival on July 24th and 25th, presenting different dance forums by male dancers. In an effort to increase the understanding of the different art forms of India, and learning about a little bit of the history, history and the techniques of these art forms, we have started this series called Interactive Discussions between the Guru and the Shishya in different uh, dance forums. Today, the dance forum that we will be presenting is the Kathakali dance forum from Kerala. Sri MPS Nambudari Ji, is the guru of this art form. He has started, he started learning Kathakali from the age of 13 under the guidance of VP Ramakrishnan Nair. And he continued to learn for another 10 years under different renowned gurus. He became the faculty member of the Kala Mandalam where he was learning and ended up being the principal of the institute, retiring in 1998. However, his services were called right back and he became the dean in the department of Kathakali and the director of Neela Campus Center for Postgraduate Studies for the first six years. Nambudari Ji is not only a teacher, but he is also a performer himself. He has conducted many workshops and seminars in and out of India, like USA, Denmark, Bangkok, Singapore. He has also published a well-known historical presentation of Kathakali called Kathakali Yude Rangapada Charitram, which has achieved very many accolades from the scholars. He has been awarded many awards and recognitions. Joining him is the student Neeraj. Neeraj is, is currently considered one of the leading Kathakali artists from Kerala. He started his journey at the age of 12 by joining the Kala Mandalam. And he also trained under many renowned gurus he successfully completed the scholarship training under the guidance of Guru Balasubramanyam Asan. Neeraj is an all-rounder, successfully handling all roles in the Kathakali dance drama like Pacha, Kathi, Tati, Kari, and Minuku. He is widely appreciated all over Kerala by the Kathakali viewers, and he is not only a performer, but also a teacher and has trained many school and college students for winning the competitions in the Kathakali Forum. Now, we will have the pleasure of listening to the interactive discussion between Guruji and also the Shishya. Guru Nambodari Ji is going to be giving a history and the techniques while Neeraj is going to be demonstrating those mudras and the techniques. Sit back and enjoy. Okay. I'm very happy to <clears throat> talk on Kathagali, which is my lifetime subject. Uh, in a very short time, I'll just give you a brief idea what Kathagali is. Kathakali is a dance drama. That means it is a blending of dance and drama. 
and <clears throat> because of that it's uh, it is very very popular in kerala this kathakali that word itself shows that katha means story and kali is play or dance thus is a dance drama and about the theme you are drawing <coughs> theme from mythology of india from mahabharata ramayana bhagavata so on and because of that all the characters you will find in kathakali are mythological characters they have different names uh that i come later about <clears throat> the character and thirdly i would tell you about the presentational techniques of kathakali how the kathakali is being taught and how kathakali is being performed as you all know that we have a very very ancient tradition in the history of the arts and kathakali too is influenced by natya shastra the text was written in between second and fourth ad as natya shastra describe there are four folds of abhinaya maybe everybody know this because those who know about indian arts in the, especially the indian classical arts they all follow the same pattern of four fold abhinaya that is first angika pertaining to limbs and vajika about the vocalization and satuga a more psych and aharya is mention about the makeup and costuming stage properties etc etc is all know everybody know about this you know i'm sure uh, those who uh, learned something about indian performing arts the most outstanding feature of kathakali i should say that the elimination of vajika from the actor that means the characters or the actors in kathakali won't speak or utter any word from the text and the text is named as artak katha that means artam again is dance and katha is drama so the texts are written in manipravala that is a combination of uh sanskrit and malayalam anyway i don't want to go to details on the text so we follow the text through this session in the last part of this demonstration i would like to give a brief idea about how through a powerful body language how the kathakali actor convey the meaning of the text through hand gestures body movements and psych etc etc so the outstanding feature is the, uh, the elimination of vajiga is i want to uh, underline that uniqueness of kathakali it happened in the history sometime you know it was told that in the early time they used to sing and dance but somehow in the course of its history a renovation was made and one of the most important renovation was this elimination of vajika replaced by ankika so ankika abhinaya is very elaborate in kathakali beginning with the hand gestures uh, hand gesture is only a part of the ankika abhinaya but the whole body has a importance in conveying the meaning and the bhava also so the, the in the in the uh, mm, the angika abhinaya the most important part is hastap 
Hastamudra. And Hastamudras have some uh, basic Hastas and uh, permutations of combinations of various mudras. They perform, a, uh, convey the meaning of a uh, word and then as a sentence. So I shall uh, uh, invite Neeraj to demonstrate some of the basic mudras that is used in Kathakali. There are some 24 basic mudras, uh, like the alphabets in the uh, language. And the first mudra can see go through the uh, basic pataka, and Neeraj can tell about that himself. Pataka, Mudrakya, Kataka, Pushti, Kartajimuha. Sukatunda, Kapitaga, Hamsapaksha, Hamsadia, Anjali, Artha Chandra, Mugura, Ramara, Sujika Muka, Pallava, Kripataga, Brikashirsha, Sarpashirasa, Vardhamanaga, Arala, Urna Nava Mukula Kadagamuka. And now, <clears throat> before the mudras, I want to tell you one thing because Kadagali's training is very elaborate training how to uh, control the body. There is a series of exercises. You don't have the time to show all this. Just one exercise I just want to mention that is. Uh, the will be performing one of the exercise from the series of 18 exercise, which is very important, is called, uh, he will be performing that exercise. Okay. You can see a martial tradition in Kerala has influenced so much on Kathagadi. So this is a part of the martial tradition, but the martial tradition has a different uh, goal or purpose because it's a defensive purpose, whereas Kathakali has absorbed a lot of Kalari Paita, which is the name of the martial art, on an aesthetic base. So this is a one exercise we do. Okay, now we come to the Upanga Vinaya. That means focusing on the face. The first is the eye exercise, which is the most important uh, Upanga in expressing various bhavas. So the eye exercise, Kannusathakam, that is the Malayalam word for that. In the early hours of the morning, the students are supposed to do the exercise applying a little bit of cow ghee as a lubrication of the eyeballs. So see the round in various directions. There's a round movement. There is a side to side movement. And there is an up and down movement. And there are some more movements. Now, <clears throat> we come to the other upangas like uh, chin, uh, you know, to express the navarasas, which is first is called shingara, how the shingara is expressed. In the, in the, when they are young, young, younger students, these movements are very mechanic. And, you know, and it is the mastering the movement is the first stage. How to droop down the uh, droop part of their lips, 
or how to stretch the lips and how to move the eye eyelids shingara sakam to the hasya karuna raudra veera bhayanaka be bhalsa disgust albhuda wonder shanta sari the students are supposed to practice all this throughout the their uh, training period that sometime to 8 to 10 years so it is a mastering the the body each and every minute movements have to be have to get mastered and for this the repetition is a integral part of the training now i want to go to, uh, come to the the very basic very important thing how a piece of text from the story is interpreted through the hand gestures body movements facial expressions we have chosen a line <clears throat> in the in the demonstration we will be uh, performing with the all the uh, percussion and music and everything now he is going to demonstrate the line from that text that is man chel miriyale this is a story from kalyana savagandhiyam the story of two brothers hanuman and bhima and this bhima uh, tell his wife that i will fetch the uh the flower saugandiga at your request so he is uh, the dawadi express his wish, her wish to get those flowers and in reply to that bhima tell this man chel miriyale man means uh dear chel is equal to man chel miri is the eyes so all do i this is a uh, addressing her now this is an addressing form o this is how it is addressed o do i manchel miliyale ninnal by you vanchitangal vanchitam desired desired by you the flower is desired by you vanchitangal aayiduna anchita beautiful saugandhigal the flower the saugandhiga flower anjate little delay without a delay kondam needuven i will get and give you that is the first stanza that is the second stanza he say shailamugalil Just go through the mudra, then we will see that if there is a time, let me. Shaila, the mountain, Mukalil, on the top of the mountain, Mukalil, Yamna Alim. Even if at the top of the mountain, Shakra Logam, the heaven, Yamna Alim, even in the heaven even in the flower in the heaven 
വേലയില്ല ഐ ഹാവ് നോ ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ടി നോ ഡിഫ് നോ തവ ഹിതം യുവർ ഡിസയർ വിക്രമേണ വാല പ്രോവസ് വിത്ത് സാധിപ്പാനും ടു ഫുൾഫിൽ So it means I have no difficulty to fulfill this desire. Even the flower is on the top of the uh, mountain or even the uh, heaven. So this is the line which we are going to um, show you through the, uh, with the percussions and music. And I would like to mention one more thing about the dance aspect of Kathagali. You know, dance aspect and uh, drama aspect. is are intertwined and each and every line or there are the there are the pallavi there is anupallavi there is stanza so in between pallavi anupallavi stand of the stanza everywhere you will find a small dance which is named as kalasham the kalasham will be performed uh, 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 by neeraj just to show how a male dancer or male act uh, character perform a kalasham there are a great range of kalasham in kathagali probably we will do just one kalasham for the bhima which is going to show you tat 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 dhim kita tak adhi ta ta tat dhim tat 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 dhim kita tak adhi tat 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 tin tat ta So very, the, the, the smallest dance sequence in Kathagali. And this will be followed another piece of dance or dance passage which is called Irati, especially in this context. Uh, so we will we'll do the demonstration with music and vocal percussion. the bhima is a good character you know he is come under green makeup uh, the characters in kathakali are types not individuals so we have a, a classification on the base of qualities that means how is there is a good character or a bad character or a character in between uh, the first the pacha which is green is a good character and tadi there's a red uh, there is a red and black those characters are cruel and vicious and there is a in between a middle character where you get a green red and black which is called kathi the most villainous villains in kathakali uh, repertoire ഹേ 
so we have performed only one stanza and uh, she say <clears throat> uh the text is performed through repetitions there is an understanding between the actor and the vocalist the vocalist should know the hand gestures and according to the uh, the elaboration from the actor's side the vocalist supposed to repeat again and again and again until the end of that stanza or the last word in that stanza is being transferred into hand gestures so that is a repetition then this is this uh, part it's in a middle speed we have vilamba and madhya and druda and this uh, text is uh, sung in a middle speed uh, it is the raga is dhanyasi and uh, now <clears throat> one small thing i omit that is about the stage and properties you know at the early days the performance used to be uh, performed in an open stage or in an open place and when the uh, performance season begins in the summer usually the performance is performed on the paddy field when the harvest is over so those are the old days and the uh, the properties are very very limited especially the stage properties what we need is just a pandal on four poles and a um, light is a bell metal on those days but that has been displaced nowadays and now we have this performing in the proscenium stage with all the modern lighting and everything but kathakali prefer a steady light they are not using any uh, moving lights or things like that so that is the lighting and the stage properties which is the last one and it's an all night performances and i hope we have give you a brief idea what kathakali is i am sure without you seeing a costumes which is the most attractive aspect of kathakali or probably the most uh, attractive uh, part of kathakali uh, so we, we are not able to show the properties so that is one thing we are not able to show you and if you have any more questions or things i hope i can give some reply uh, i hope it will i i can hear it properly or uh, neeraj can give a reply and uh, he is going a, a performance from a piece from kirata the story neeraj will explain what he is going to do uh, first of all let me register my boundless gratitude on behalf of my on behalf of the young kathakali artist of kerala and on my own behalf to the organizers mr especially mr ajay veer for including kathakali and for its performance me in this international dance festival we are trying to now in this section we are trying to um, adapt a method quite different from the usual formal interviews uh, common interviews uh, formal interviews with question and answers commonly followed by many others first and foremost uh, sri mps hasan the scholar participating this program is a guru of mine is a guru of mine and a person with whom i have very close personal acquaintance secondly we have a project in mind uh, through which we could help people people have a thorough understanding of kathakali in a minimum time span before us however we firmly believe that uh, we are would Uh, we are able to introduce this great tradition our form in general in general mm. 
the uh, not is complete details uh, here mm, i am presenting the vis visualization of a padam a piece uh, is paramesha pahi the beginning scene of uh, kiradam one of the most popular atakatha atakatha means a script or the plot and the, the text of kathakali the uh, one of the most popular atakatha is kiradam uh, arjuna the lead character has entered the forest the order to start his penance in view of the pleasing lord shiva and thereby receiving his blessing and um, the divine arm named as uh, pashupadastra that would help pandava win the great war of kurukshetra and and now i include include some stories of shiva shiva like tribura dahana and destroying kamadeva and he uh, drinking the poison of separate king vasugi like that like stories included in this uh, piece of um, performance and it's in todi raga and the uh, tala the rhythm is triputa mm, i once again thank sri mpr sarshan for joining and leading me in this interview i thank you all for viewing and criticizing this program and thank you very much thank you very much nambudri ji and neeraj it was a very very interesting and informative uh, discussion that you both had and nambudri ji we really learned some unique characters of uh, kathakali and it was interesting to see that one of the fascinating uniqueness is that vachika has been totally eliminated from kathakali and it's been replaced by angika which is the body language and the mudras and all the bhava and the story is conveyed by the actor through the body language and through the mudra through the hasta mudras and the eye expressions it was really fascinating to understand that and neeraj did a wonderful job of demonstrating everything that nambudari ji was trying to convey and upanga exercise upanga binaya which was another uniqueness that we i learned at least that not only the dance forum is start but also the students are made to do 18 kind of uh, exercises and in the body and also i exercises so that they can master the body and control it in every moment of the dance drama which is the kathakali that they'll be expressing it really was a very informative and illuminating uh, discussion and we do look forward to learning more about kathakali and neeraj we are looking forward to your actual performance which is going to be on july 24th and 25th the actual day of your performance will be uh declared later but you will be performing one of those two days and we will be very happy and eagerly waiting to watch that thank you okay. again namaste thank you very much namaste yeah